Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about these little mini at home Bitcoin ASIC miners. Essentially, these little lottery ticket plays. A lot of news about them. Somebody just hit a block with one of the little units. So that's why there's a ton of interest in these things. So we're going to just talk about them, talk about the different models and kind of just set expectations if you're considering getting one of these things, right? Just kind of give you some numbers. So you can see what it is, what to expect, and if you are interested in one of these little lottery plays, which one is going to give you the biggest bang for the buck, right? So if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned to get to this thing. So there's going to be a lot of interest in this thing, and I'm sure you've already seen a lot of coverage just because somebody actually did hit a freaking block with one of these little devices, okay, which is insanely cool, right? But also insanely lucky. Okay, that's the kind of the key thing is just make sure you kind of just set your expectations with what it is. Okay, and to, in my opinion, they are purely gambling, purely lottery ticket plays. Okay, so tiny 500 giga hash home Bitcoin mining device produced a block earning over 200,000 BTC. Okay, so the main use case with these things is to solo mine. It is not to get one of these things and now oh, I'm going to earn some passive income. That's not what this is. It is. It's best use case, you don't have to, right, is to solo mine, especially with these smaller guys, okay? And just so you're fully aware, they kind of did put it on here, your chances are about one in a billion to hit a block, but it is once every 10 minutes, right? This is kind of the cool factor, and it's not to say that they, these things are like trash, there's no value. There is value, right, especially for what it is, okay? So you can, you kind of have a chance every single every 10 minutes every time there's a new block you have a chance at that block okay there are kind of websites that break it down you can solochance.com and it kind of gives the same things it's about one in a billion your chance per day is about one in 7.6 million your time estimate would be about 20,000 years right so it's something that's possible it's something that's doable it's just very very extremely unlikely okay but at the same time you gotta be in it to win it, okay? So if you want a chance, so these things are for, for that $100 price range, sure, why not, right? So let's talk about some of these specific models. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm not shilling any of this garbage to you. I'm just trying to answer questions because this is one I got a ton of after I did that best at home ASIC video. A lot of you guys into that nano. So just kind of want to set the expectations just because, again, you're going to hear a lot about these things. I've had like three or four different vendors trying to send these things for like review videos. And again, maybe if I was interested in it or something, I would remotely be interested. But for me, it's just it ain't for me. Right. But we will talk about it. going to try to be unbiased. Just try to just set the expectation In reality more than anything. We just want to set what to expect. Right. Which just kind of set the tone right here okay so the one that's the most popular right now is this guy or i should probably say second most popular i think the most popular is definitely that damn little avalon which we'll talk about here in a second so this guy is probably the device that actually hit this block okay it's one of the bit axes there's different models there's different variations the newer one is the supra they have the ultra so these things, again, just understand what they are. The best use case is the lottery play, and it is just like a cool little desk piece or something to throw on like a little nerd shelf, things of that sort, right? To me, that's the best use case. And for 100 bucks, 120 bucks, sure, right? At that point, again, it's a cool little lottery ticket. As long as this thing is running, it, you got a chance every 10 minutes, which, again, if you want a chance, you got to be in it to win it, right? So... From that perspective, not bad, right? It's kind of a cool little nerdy thing, especially these like bare ones, like the case thing kind of looks whack to me. What looks cool is this guy just having like the bare circuit board, put on a little, little stand or something. In that case, not bad. There are different models. There are different vendors that have these things. Uh, not a fan of them listing it as beginner miners. They should be just more upfront with what it is and it's just their lottery plays, okay? Another popular one, which got shilled super hard a while back with these damn little Mars Lander things, uh, freaking 500 bucks, absolutely not. Okay, especially considering that these are 
half of the hash rate of these current bit axes and way higher. Again, even uh, it's got to be like under 100 bucks for maybe it to make sense, I guess. And for me, realistically, I like the design of the bit axes more to me they're a little bit cooler than these little things. But again, to each their own, that's kind of the purpose. It's kind of meant to just be like a little desk piece, like a little nerd piece. Um, as far as bang for the bucks with these things go, is definitely, and this is probably why this thing was so popular, is this damn little Avalon Nano 3s. So when these things launched, they were only a hundred bucks. Kind of weird how it worked because it launched, there was zero interest for like two months. And then they got mega popular for whatever reason. Okay, they were because they were literally announced. I didn't make a, any content on it just because it was kind of weird, right? They were at like advertising it specifically as a heater which again it's only 140 watts like what are you gonna heat up with 140 watts right it should have just been advertised as that lottery play that like from the get-go probably would have done better initially and that may be why it started getting so popular but at 439 bucks though duh, i don't know about all that <laughs> that's where it gets a little bit squirrely especially consider the msrp is 100 bucks but again, the market is going to dictate the price. If people are going to pay this much for it, then that's what they're going to pay for it. Okay, and it's, again, even at 250 300 it's selling like crazy. Okay, like even like Altair Tech, they have a pre-order for it at 289 But it's not going to be available till freaking mid-September. Okay, that's how popular these damn things are. So, as far as bang for the buck wise, this is definitely gonna be it, especially if you get it anywhere near the $100 price point. In reality, even at this price point, if you want bang for the buck as far as like lottery tickets go in comparison to the bid axe, I wouldn't even mention the Mars Lander just cause that one is so way out there. But if we compare it to this guy, we'll do the Ultra, let's say it's 500 giga hash, so let's say it's 400 on the low end just for easy math purposes. This guy is four terahash, right? So you would need 10 of these things and let's again, low ball it to a hundred bucks. It'd be like a thousand dollars worth for the equivalent. So again, even at three, 400 bucks, if you're putting it on that same scale, it is a better deal. Cause again, you're multiplying your odds at that point. And then at this point also, this guy is more versatile just because at this point you can also solo mine with BCH. You can potentially have some success. Because again, it's only 140 watts. It does have different power modes. It does give you options, but understand that it's not so much a passive income thing. It's more of just like lottery plays, right? You're kind of just playing your luck essentially. And realistically, you obviously gonna have more luck with a better unit. Does this thing have the cool factor though? Like the cool little desk piece thing? It does come in different colors. They're only showing the black here, I guess, right? For me, the cool factor, it's the bit axe. So kind of to each their own. The other player in this field that's been around for a while now is actually these future bits. They have the Apollo 1 and 2. So they are a little bit pricier. Again, a little bit more hash rate. Kind of up to you. The Kind of the cool thing for me at least is that they do have versions that do also have a full node installed. So that is kind of cool. But again, the price point is what's getting me. Spending a thousand bucks on this, I would rather just buy BTC outright or anything else right it's just again for that hundred dollar range why not right would i throw a hundred bucks into it me personally no right i'm just not the gambling type personally in a sense right i'm into shit coins i'm into meme coins i'm into crypto in general which in reality is kind of a gambling thing but this is kind of like on a different scale in some capacity right so to each their own on that front but um for me again this guy is fairly expensive for what it is for what you're getting if anything again for a hundred bucks if you're able to get the these avalons in that range under 200 bucks sure realistically a hundred bucks why not right so like the little bit axes that would probably be my choice but to each their own again this is just not really my thing but just want to make you make sure you understand as to why right again it's a full gambling full degen solo mining lottery ticket play which again considering where we're at in the market the opportunities here in this market where there's so many potential coins that are so undervalued there's a lot of like 10 
20, 30, 40, 50 X potential in these coins, I would much rather throw a hundred bucks there than one of these things, okay? It's just where my mindset's at. In the bull market though, when we're taking profits and doing whatever, then sure, why not, right? But that's kind of the main reason I don't really talk about them because again, I try to focus on consistently generating revenue, like consistently stacking coins, yielding coins, and in this case, you may never see a damn coin from these things or you may be lucky as hell and be this dude and freaking retire off of a block <laughs> although realistically at current prices you're not going to retire off a block but the same time again guys you got to be in it to win it okay and for a hundred bucks for a chance literally every 10 minutes why not right and then at this point one of these guys you're multiplying your odds by 10 so there is value here, right? Like, it's just not for me, right? So kind of the purpose of this video is just to make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into. Are these things the worst buys? No, right? Especially if you were to freaking hit one, right? It would be freaking amazing. But just make sure you're realistic. Make sure you set your expectations, what your realistic odds are, and why some of us aren't necessarily super into these things, right? So again, that's the main reason why. But I see the hype. I see the appeal. I see the interest. I, I get it, right? Again, it's just something that's not for me. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys think? How many of you guys got one of these things? And if were any of you guys able to get these things anywhere near MSRP? Have you seen any vendors that have them in stock at a reasonable price? So far, just looking real quick, it's the few that did have them in stock. They were like in this range, like three to four, five hundred bucks. A lot of them were pre-orders. Let me know in the comments. Let me know, have you guys had any issues with them? I know some people were saying something about the thermals. I'm assuming it's people messing around with them or like PSU issues. Let me know in the comments, guys. That way, if anybody is interested in these nanos, if you've had problems with them, put them in the comments. That way, people can kind of see. So again, just so they know what to expect. All right. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and I am out.